everyone, we are the Sorry Girls and my name is Kelsey. And I'm Becky. And today we are bringing you a Left Shark costume. I know, <laughs> like who thought you could make one? We blew our own minds. We are so amazed at how well this turned out. If you did not see the Super Bowl, this is the Left Shark costume from the- Not the Right Shark. No, no, that's a completely different this tutorial. Is the this left is the shark. Left one. The Shark, the Katy Perry Super Bowl performance this year. So this is how we made the Left Shark costume. To make the shark suit, start with enough fleece fabric to cover yourself twice. Fold the fabric in half and trace around yourself. Leave extra room and shape the arms in two points. You can fold the shape in half to make sure it's symmetrical and cut it out. Use fabric glue and glue the edges together minus the neck and feet holes. Leave the neck hole a little bit wider than you would need to uh, to make sure we have room for the head of the shark when it's all done. When it's dry, flip the shark suit inside out. Using some white fabric, trace out triangles that will fit the undersides of the sleeves. Fabric glue the triangles into place. For the shark head, we bought a large roll of craft foam. Measure out the width of your shoulders and the desired height of the head that you want. Connect these measurements to make a rounded triangle shape. We next also cut out four skinnier triangles. Each of them was about half the width of the large one. We're also going to trace all four of these pieces onto the blue fabric and trace the one large piece onto our white fabric and make sure that you leave a couple of feet below because that will make the stomach of the shark. Next, tape all the edges of the pieces together to create a kind of pointed dome shape. You're gonna to wanna to put it on and trace out where your shoulder cutouts will need to go and cut them out. Also try and estimate where the mouth will need to go and it should be sitting at your eye line. Next draw a nicer shark mouth shape and cut that out. Cover each side of the head with the pieces that we previously traced out of the blue fabric. Use a hot glue gun and do small parts at a time to make sure that it's even. Also cut off any extra fabric that's inside the shoulder cutouts. Wrap the extra fabric under the head and around the shoulder cutouts. Also glue our white fabric to the front of the shark using the same technique. When you're gluing on the white fabric, make sure that you only go down to your shoulder height and leave the rest loose. For the shark teeth, we cut out small shapes from white foam. and glue them into place on the underside of the head. For the mouth, we used black mesh, which looks dark but is definitely see-through, and we even doubled it up. Cut out enough to cover the mouth and glue that to the inside of the head. For the eyes, we started with a styrofoam ball cut in half. Trace out the areas that will be black. It's helpful to look at a picture of the costume for this. And make sure to leave a small circle of white. Paint the spaces using the black paint. And for the eyelids, cut out a small piece of the blue fabric. Stretch and glue it along the lid line and glue any extra to the back of the eye. 
and we're going to glue the eyes on either side of the head. For the gills, we cut out six long kind of curved shapes out of black fabric. Felt definitely would have been the best, but we didn't have any. Glue three in a row on each side of the head. For the little feet coverings, trace out your shoe size onto some of the blue fabric. Make sure that it's doubled up and cut these out. Fabric glue two of the sides of the shoe coverings together and flip it inside out once it's dry. For the fin, we're going to cut out two fin shapes and one long strip of fabric that's enough to wrap around the fin shape. Hot glue the edge of the long strip to the edge of the fin shape and repeat this for both fins and this will create a 3D shape. Leave a small gap unglued and flip the whole shape inside out. Stuff the fin with pillow stuffing and glue up the hole. on the suit with the head and pin the neck hole closed tight to the edges of the head. Also cut a slit down the middle of the suit just enough to be able to get the costume on. We're going to use velcro to close the opening of the slit we just made. Glue up any part of the neck that was too loose that we just pinned. We're also going to use two strips of Velcro above the shoulders to blend the costume in with the head. Putting the other side on the shoulder of the bodysuit. And then we're going to glue the fin to the back of the head. To finish the front piece, we're going to pin the extra white fabric flush to the suit. You can take it off and trace out kind of a stomach shape, again helpful to look at a picture. Cut your shape out and hem it if necessary. We're going to attach really tiny pieces of velcro all the way around the stomach. And putting the costume back on, we're going to attach the other half of our velcros to the suit. And you're finished! And to get it on and off, you just need to take the velcro off the stomach and the shoulders. Thank you so much for watching guys, we really hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, pretty much we do DIYs all year round and costumes at Halloween especially, but like now we do them sometimes all year round when like special things like this happen. Why not? We also vlog behind the scenes of us making this video, so if you want to see that you can click at the end. And we also did like a left shark in real life <laughs> video where we just spent the whole day running around outside with the left shark. I mean, you have the costume, you're not going to not use it. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much, It right? was pretty fun seeing everybody's reactions. Super fun. So if you want to see a video of that, then you can click here. So subscribe if you want to see some more videos like this. We make videos every Tuesday. And we would love to see you around. Mm -hmm. Alright, we will see you next week, guys. Bye. Bye.